All right, everybody, I'm back. So, but something that I have thought of is just things that help me. And one of the things that I have actually kind of realized, and I talked about it a little bit in that intro, is you know a struggling photographer, right? So one of those things that causes the photographer to struggle is the fact that it's expensive to get into this. Whether it's a hobby, whether it's you're wanting to try to make a living with it, it's expensive. So <clears throat> this isn't the very first camera I've had. This is the camera that I currently use. This camera here was $2,000. So this lens here was $500. So right here, I've got $2,500 basically for me to shoot. <laughs> and that's one lens, right? Well, you have other lenses that are more for your telescopic lens. So you, you know, of course you have some that zoom in and zoom out. So this lens is 135 millimeters. I mean, it's $1,000. I got it at a pretty good deal, used deal at, at a local camera shop for $600. So it's expensive. <laughs> These are two lenses and one camera that I have. But what I actually want to show you, and this is for that budget-minded photographer, maybe the photographer that's just getting into this. So this is a camera that I bought on eBay. It is a Vivitar 135 millimeter f 2.8 lens. So this lens was actually manufactured in the 60s. And I bought this lens on eBay for $36 and change. It's fully manual though, so it doesn't use any of the autofocus technologies or anything like that. It's a fully manual lens, so it does take a little bit of time. You have to buy a mount for whatever camera you're using, and it just screws onto the back of the lens. This $60 lens gives me the long telephoto length of this lens. This one was $1,000 or 600 used. This one here was $38, $36 on eBay, okay? So what I actually did was I had a photo session with a ballerina and I did a little comparison video and I'm actually gonna add it to this video so that you can just kind of see the comparison. And what I want you to do is I'm going to pull up two images that I shot, one with this lens and one with this lens. And you tell me what's, which lens shot which one. Uh, so I've got Amberly back there, we're getting ready to shoot and I wanted to use a long lens. And so I thought this was a really good opportunity to show the difference in these two lenses. So the first is a lens that I bought maybe six months ago. And it is the uh, Canon 135 millimeter F2. The other lens that I'm gonna use is this lens right here. And so this is the same focal length, 135 millimeters. The difference is this one cost a thousand, this one cost $38 on eBay. We're gonna do a comparison to see if you can tell what picture's coming from the thousand dollar lens and what picture's coming from the $40 lens, all right? All right, there it is. There is something to be said about the expensive lens. The glass is great, everything is really good with it. But some people can't afford that. Some people can afford this. There are some cons to it. The biggest one really is, it doesn't use any of the technologies of your camera. So it's kind of like a dumb lens. You have to actually do a manual focus on it. That can make it a little bit difficult if you're used to an autofocusing camera. You're gonna to have to actually learn how to manual focus your, your lens. That's not a bad thing, learning how to manual focus. You just need to be able to know how to use your camera properly, know how to use the lens properly, save yourself a ton of money, and go with these cheap lenses. These cheap lenses are all over eBay. $40, $50, even upwards of $100, but even at $100, it's still $900 cheaper than this if you spent $100 on a lens like this. Vintage lenses are the way to go if you're on a budget. 
They have great character in the glass too. Something that's 60 years old has got years of color in that glass. And the glass just sometimes has a different way that it blurs out your background. So again, this is more for the beginner photographer or the budget-minded photographer. Look for vintage lenses. Vintage lenses are awesome. All right, so what did you think about the two images that I showed? I'll actually probably pop up a couple extra images just to let you see these were shot with a $60 or with a $40 lens. But the, the comparison is actually pretty impressive. And when I looked at them on the, on the computer, when I was editing them, I was quite impressed with the quality of that $40 lens. It's really good. So I hope you've enjoyed the video. Uh, if you've got questions about vintage lenses or where to find them, you can always message me on Facebook. You can find me on Instagram. I'll have both of my tags down below. All right, until next time, episode three, that's a wrap, right? So now we just need to figure out what we're doing for episode four. Let me know what you like about the video, what you don't like, what you would like to see more of. Again, please like and subscribe if you haven't. And um, hopefully I'll see you on the Facebook page or on Instagram.